I'm Santosh. Uh, I'm currently the managing partner of uh, Analytic Edge. Uh, we still call it a startup, but uh, it's been four years. Uh, so I think by logic, you cannot say any, anything a startup uh, after three years. But we are still in the startup mode. I think that's more fun. Uh, it's small. It's more fun. Um, so we are primarily Analytic Edge primarily works on uh, marketing and sales analytics, uh, primarily for the CPG and retail clients. So. Uh, there are two, there are two uh, career options uh, for mid-career professionals uh, if they are uh, trying to switch into analytics. One is, uh, you know, become a data scientist. Uh, and the other is become a domain specialist in analytics. Uh, easier thing uh, that I have seen is uh, because you have already spent, you know, five to ten years uh, doing uh, what whatever you were doing before, uh, it is easier to switch in the same domain and become an analytics prof professional uh, in the become a domain specialist because you know the inside out of the domain. Uh, the other path, which is a much more difficult path for a mid-career professional, is to become a data scientist. Now that requires a lot of in-depth knowledge about the subjects, especially when you're coming talking about statistics and you know the AIs and the machine learning. Uh, it's a it's not impossible, uh, but it's much more difficult. Uh, uh, the easier path is to become an analytics consultant because uh, and be in the same domain that you were. I I don't advise anyone to switch domains uh, because it becomes that much more difficult uh, uh, for a mid-career professional to switch domains because uh, first of all, you're new to the terminologies of analytics and or you also become new to the terminologies of the domain. Uh, it becomes a, a difficult switch uh, and you know I have seen many people fail uh, just because of the domain switch. So my advice would be to uh, stick to a domain and then do analytics more uh, statistical oriented work uh, in that domain. I mean I, I would say a self learning uh, about statistical about all these things is a must. But I have seen you know uh, if you are doing a full time job it just becomes that much more difficult to concentrate and have that uh, regularity of self learning. Uh, I'm sure there are many courses uh, like the one that we're talking about uh, helps uh, to expedite that process. Uh, there has to be super interests. Uh, so and Logic, logic, logic. I think you, if you have logic, uh, you will survive in the analytics industry absolutely well. Uh, the industry is small, but the industry works on uh, works on logic. Uh, for everything else, there is Google. Uh, for a mid-career professional, uh, domain uh, is my primary uh, is what I primarily look. So, for example, we are in the CPG retail. Uh, we specialize in CPG retail. Uh, if you don't have the domain knowledge. Uh, it becomes next to impossible uh, for us to hire, uh, you know, no matter how good you might be in uh, quote unquote analytics. So domain becomes the, the biggest factor uh, and uh, logic. Uh, if, if you cannot logically solve a problem, uh, you know, in English, n not analytics statistics per se, uh, it becomes difficult. So uh, I think the domain is the most important followed by, uh, you know, if you have logical, re if your logical reasoning is well, uh, we can, uh, app, you know, we absolutely hire those people. Uh, rest can, le uh, rest, everything is trainable. Ability to put yourself in that business shoes. Uh, it, you know, it is very easy to say that, you know, uh, a business comes and says, oh, I have a pricing problem. Uh, the question becomes, can I convert that business problem or the business question into, break into small steps? Uh, I think if you have that reasoning power, saying that, you know, I will attack this question first, this question next, this question next, because the business will come and say, uh, for example, as I was saying before, uh, pricing is a problem for me. I'm saying, oh, okay. Uh, so if pricing is a problem, is the pricing problem of my own products or my competitors' products, or uh, so try to break it down into smaller pieces and then answer the question each, you know, each smaller part at a time. Uh, if you cannot do that, uh, you know, it gets difficult to answer the big question in the analytics because uh, to make a methodology, you know, what uh, models will fit, uh, it is easier if you're tackling one small problem at a time rather than one big one. If, if uh, you're looking to become a data scientist, uh, you know, it is easier to pick a particular uh, tool uh, and then become master of that. However, uh, that number of positions are very, very low. 
uh, especially in India. So my advice or my uh, what uh, I am looking or or we are looking when we go and hire is uh, you know person should be too agnostic. Uh, if if you're too agnostic, if you know if you know some of R, some of Python, some of uh, deep learning uh, tools, uh, you know you can pick the rest. Uh, but having said that, you know we do look for uh, some of the product development that we do. Uh, we know we need core and core Python developers, uh, and we go and look for those Python developers. But these guys are not front-ending people. Um, so for back-ending people, you know going deep into one tool makes more sense. Uh, for front-ending people, you know, knowledge of you know multiple tools uh, becomes uh, more appropriate, if you might. So it depends upon the situation. See, I mean, again, machine learning is not something which has been new, right? So you know, 20 years back, analytics was the only word which was like a you know, big word. A uh, few years back, five, six years back, it was big data. Uh, then it became smart data, uh, and now it is becoming all uh, AI and uh, machine learning. Uh, uh, you know the the words, the terminologies will keep on changing. Uh, you know people can define machine learning in hundred thousand different ways. Uh, having said that, uh, my primary thing, uh, what I recommend everyone is, uh, uh, machine learning is going to be big. It was always there. It just on the, the on the exponential trajectory right now. Uh, it is uh, absolutely important. Uh, you know to learn um, that kind of. Uh, uh, capabilities, uh, machine learning capabilities or AI capabilities to survive the industry. Uh, you know, everyone has to transform, uh, uh, you know, according to the stages, right? So, uh, 20 years back, uh, you know, if you can run a 100 MB data set, uh, you know, you are called the, the god of analytics. Uh, that was the power of the computers at that time, that was the power of the software existing at that time. Uh, now, you know, uh, talking about trillions of data, uh, trillion lines of data is easy. Uh, and that's why I think uh, this more uh, analytics combined with a computer scientist, you know, which is what I think uh, people nowadays call as data scientists, uh, you know, which, which I think is an amalgamation of a statistician plus a computer scientist. Uh, uh, that's where it, I think that's where the industry is moving to. Uh, and uh, you know, if you become a pure play statistician or a pure pure play computer programmer, uh, it becomes difficult to survive the industry. So I think uh, the amalgamation of uh, these two. Uh, and knowing the concepts of AIs and the MLs and uh, using that in day-to-day -day life or day-to-day -day work becomes very important to survive uh, if you want to build a career uh, in the analytics. Now, um, so uh, the, the basics, so the basics, basics, basics. I think if someone knows what a regression is, you can survive the analytics industry easily. Um, if someone knows, uh, you know, uh, some basics of uh, the machine learning, why it, so it, uh, as I was saying before, the domain becomes very important in such cases. Uh, I don't think uh, the industry is, uh, you know, a few methodology uh, restricted. I think the industry is very wide. Uh, so to generalize saying that, you know, are there any one, one or of ten topics, if you know that you can survive the industry, uh, it's not like that. Uh, I think uh, getting the domain understanding becomes very critical. Um, and uh, you know, uh, there are methodologies. Uh, if you know what the problem is, uh, you can go and Google it up, and you know you can figure out ten different methodologies to solve that problem. Fine, but till the time you cannot convert a problem statement into a, a, a statistical statement or a machine learning statement, uh, no matter what you know is difficult. So I think that conversion is more important, which, which is true. Um, so. Uh, so if there is a if there is a person who is starting out, uh, it's always easier to start out as a analyst, not a business analyst, not a domain person analyst, uh, as an analyst who is you know doing machine learning algorithms. You know someone is telling you know do X Y Z, you learn, you go step by step. But after a certain time, if it becomes a very consultative nature. Uh, so unless you know the domain, it becomes difficult. So you, you're absolutely right. Uh, building domain comes over time. You cannot build the domain uh, starting in. But a mid-career professional surely would have uh, that, you know, that domain expertise, you know, might have worked on multiple projects across multiple domains, but has the understanding of the domain, has a capability to understand the domain. Uh, some domains are easier, just because you can put yourself in that domain's shoes and understand. You know, like CPG retail is easy. Everyone shops. Uh, 
telecom becomes difficult, financial becomes difficult because now you just don't know what's actually happening in the back end, uh, what the actual problems might be. So uh, I think there are domains which are hard to get into and there are domains which are easier to get into. Uh, it depends upon what, uh, what the interest of the person is uh, and I mean one of the recommendations that I always are, you know, so uh, I tell starting up students, not the mid-career professionals, uh, you know, uh, is that do what interests you or pick a domain that interests you. If you don't have interest in the domain, uh, you know, your interest might be analytics or high-end math. Uh, it, you know, it's not useful. You have to do something that interests you uh, and you have to pick a domain that interests you, um, you know, that you're passionate about. Uh, again, very difficult to grow in your career if you're not passionate about that. I think it's important, as I was saying before, uh, you know, uh, 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 that the doing it by self-learning uh, it becomes difficult for a professional, because uh, you know, if you're a student or uh, you know, fresher out of college, uh, you know, you can still take the six months out and self-learn uh, and become a professional. But I think uh, for mid-career professionals, they're already working. They have uh, uh, there's nothing called nine to five nine to five jobs anymore. Uh, you know, you're working. You know. Some days you're working, uh, not working at all. Some days you're working 18, 16 hours of, uh, a day. So it becomes, uh, you have to have that regularized system. So I see, surely think that these programs, uh, a lot of these programs absolutely help. Uh, having said that, uh, I think, uh, you know, how do you choose a course becomes an important factor. Uh, for me, the primary factor of choosing a course is, you know, what, what is the content of the course? Uh, you know, does that give me that well-rounded, uh, you know, uh, path to what, where I want to go. Uh, so, uh, I mean, I've seen many of the courses. Uh, I think, uh, you know, there are only some courses uh, which do that, just actually justify that. And I think second more important thing is, uh, you know, uh, that I look for or anybody should, should look for is, uh, you know, who are taking these courses? What are their backgrounds? Uh, because uh, unless you know the industry, uh, somebody teaching is teaching you, you know, uh, everyone knows two plus two is four. Um, you know, it becomes when to use a certain methodologies, you know, if you're not coming from that background, it becomes very difficult. Uh, so I think Jigsaw has done a fab, uh, fab work in that regard. So I think, uh, you know, the faculty is top notch. Uh, you know, glad to be a part of the Jigsaw team. Any structure of the course that you built, uh, you know, uh, should have, uh, per me, should have one element. So most of our courses are focusing on, you know, whether I have taught you R. Uh, which is fine if you just want to become an uh, art specialist. So, uh, for example, people like me uh, who are born and brought up uh, uh, using SAS uh, needs to learn R, you know, a proper technical training on R uh, becomes important. But uh, for uh, people who are trying to switch careers, uh, it becomes more important not just learning a few tools. Uh, it becomes not just learning a few statistical terminologies. Uh, I think it what important is to have that well-rounded structure as, as I was mentioning before, uh, to have that, uh, you know, how to think about a problem. You know, how does in analytics people think about a problem? How to convert that problem into uh, a operationalizing uh, for a business? Uh, and uh, I just looked at the course uh, that IDM offers and I think it is, it is rounded because it has things like, you know, how to convert uh, to insights. I think that becomes very important. Uh, how to, you know, the management, just the project management of things. Uh, everything has to have structure. Uh, in, and if anyone is thinking that analytics doesn't have a structure, they're very, very wrong. Uh, you know, a, a, like anything, analytics follows a structure. And if it, it follows a structure, it becomes that much more easier to implement. Um, so I think this course is very well structured, uh, especially because I see, I saw two things. Uh, which caught my interest and which is, you know, uh, getting to the insights from the things and the, the project management part. Because I think more, uh, a lot of uh, courses uh, try to downplay these two things. Uh, and I think it is uh, more suited for professionals who have, just want to get some more knowledge about some specific tool set. Uh, but I think, uh, you know, with these, I think this becomes a more rounded uh, person and, you know, a person can train a person to think like an analytics person. Um, so it's very important. I think uh, you know, I'm pretty impressed.